What is going on everybody? Up and Adam here and today we have another episode of our No Money Spent team. It is Sunday evening. We just went through all kinds of weekly games today. I'm not gonna lie to you. I spent <laughs> I spent my pretty much entire Sunday finishing up 19 weekly games, a few solo battles, and boy do I have some bad news. Boy do I have some bad news. Anyways, before we jump into the video though, make sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button, turn those noti bells on for more no money spent videos moving forward. All right, let's jump into it. As you can see on the screen here, we're, we're at an 83 overall squad, 561,000 coins, and oh my gosh, so much heartache. All right, so let's talk a little bit about solo battles and how we did this week. So we went in here. This week has been quite busy with like me going back to work and whatnot. And you can see here, we only got MVP. We were short one game. For some reason, I decided to leave a few of my games. Like, some, like most of the time, I'll finish all my games and like restart, uh, not restart them, but like reset my opponents. And then I'll be able to like finish early. I don't really play the last like two or three games, depending on how, how well I did early on. But this week was a little bit busy. So I like kind of skipped a couple of the beginning ones like in, early in the week. And I was like, all right, I'll just finish the rest of the games. I ended up, I was like, I had two games left. I had two solo battle games left, I believe, or something like that. Two or, I think it was two or one, I can't remember. And then it locked me out. It wouldn't let me play the last game or the last two games. It was just, it was just stuck. And then I go and back out, I come back in and it, it it's like, all right, you're completed your solo battles. But I didn't, I had two games left. So we missed out on the legend rewards by <laughs> one game. And that was unfortunate. So we're going to only be getting 43,000 coins, one red zone pack and whatever. So we're not missing out. Like we're missing out like 15,000, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it anyways, but it gets worse. It gets worse. We also decided to take our team, our 83 overall team, our 82 defense, 84 offense into weekend league. Before I show you the results of weekend league, let me show you the team and the upgrades we made just so you can see. All right, so here we go. The offense did not change too much. So from the last time we, we showed the video, we had the Richie Incognito we added, we added the Odell Beckham, and pretty much the offense stayed the same. Um, we got Hester to an 88, I believe here. So he's, he's on the team. He's not really making the cut yet. Once he gets to that 92, we'll definitely be using him full time. But right now, that's what the team, the offense looks like. Now let me show you the defense. We made one big, well, we, no, we actually made three big defensive adjustments and upgrades to the squad. Okay, so as you can see here, we added this Brian Dawkins. He's an 86 because he's not in his uh, free safety position, but it's fine. It doesn't matter too much. So he's playing there, but we also added um, Joke from the Browns as our linebacker, outside linebacker, and we've also added Lorenzo Carter. So those were the two big upgrades that we made uh, on the, like uh, for outside linebackers. And then we added Brian Dawkins who played so well. I just gotta power him up now, but I don't have the training to do so yet, but I will. But he was a very instrumental in getting our wins this weekend for sure. I have one other player I wanna add to the corner, the cornerbacks. I want to add the campus hero Antrell Roll. So he's the one I'm I'm working on right now. I'm get, I'm like doing the get a player method to build him for pretty much free. So I can show you how to do that a little bit later in the video. But that's the I just wanted to give you a an idea of what the squad was looking like for Waking Lake. So I used this squad right here that you saw the offense and the defense, and I took that into Weekend League. And boy was it sweaty! It was sweaty. Well, let's go in and show you. Um, the record here so go into mutt champions and yeah we ended up let me go into i guess it'd be leaderboards we ended up again with 14 wins we so we ended with 14 again we were one one win away from hitting 15 which would have been really really nice i sold the last game so bad like we went on so we were we were 10 and 10. we were 10 and 10 with five games left Okay, we were 10 and 10 with five games left. I ended up winning four in a row. I ended up winning four in a row. And then the last game, we were tied until like the fourth quarter. And I just threw a, uh, a 
terrible read. I threw a pick six and it cost me, it ended up costing me the game because I couldn't score. So yeah, ended up losing that unfortunately with the, like the, in the last, like in the fourth quarter. But we did end up with 14 wins with that squad. I think once we upgrade the team a little bit more, I think we can definitely compete for the MVP and the legendary uh, ranks. But right now we're still stuck at that 14 win mark. But again, not too bad. We'll get 70,000 coins plus like the 40,000 we got from solo battle. So we'll add a nice little chunk of change there and definitely upgrade the team a little bit. So that's what we're going to be doing. And now the plans moving forward this week, we should be getting ultimate kickoff, which means that we'll probably going to have an opportunity to make more coins or add some really nice pieces. So ultimate kickoff usually comes out before the season starts. So I'm thinking probably Tuesday is the best guess for when, when these cards come out. We also should be getting our wild card Wednesday, so probably gonna be like veterans. Then we're supposed to, we'll get our like probably we'll pro like we'll probably get I want to say our limiteds on Thursday, and then possibly team diamonds on Friday. Maybe I don't I don't know, but like the reason why it might not come out on Friday because if you go into these this right here, this shows the team builders are like this goal will no longer be available until the 23rd of September. Will they wait until like the 23rd in order to like? Get rid of this and add the next one it will get like team builders on the 23rd i hope not because that's still a couple of weeks away hopefully we get it sooner than later because it's always fun always a good time to have these team builders to build sorry team diamonds in order to build your squad and add some pieces to our team so that's my hope that we get some good content this week with opening week of the nfl but who knows but yeah so another thing that i wanted to a little bit uh, like touch upon at, at the end of this video is how to get some free campus hero pairs. So the Brian Dawkins was a free card that I got for just opening or just playing my solos. So if you go to the campus heroes and you get 80 stars, that's all you need. 80 stars gets you an 89 overall NCAT all conference fantasy pack. NCAT means non-collectible and non-auctionable slash tradable. So you can't put it into sets, you can't trade it, you can't sell it or anything like that. You can only use it and then quick sell it for training when you're done with it. That is the only options. So I got, was able to get that. I decided to pick Brian Dawkins first because I definitely needed some secondary help. But the next way you can get it again, it, or another 89 like that for free, is playing 20 games of Superstar KO. I didn't really have enough time this weekend because I was really busy with a lot of stuff. So I didn't have a chance to play my Superstar KO yet. But I'll be working on it throughout the week this week to add that extra free 89. I'll probably decide to grab... Um, the, a wide receiver, either Roy Williams or Galloway. I think those are the, like the two better receivers to grab in the game. Um, so I'll have a link down below in the comments about which campus heroes you should choose and the best ones. Okay, I have I posted a video the other day about it, so you can definitely go back and have a uh, have a watch through. Okay, so that's pretty much this what we're doing. And then you also could get an auctionable and tradable one if you go into the ultimate seasons here and you click on. The campus hero objectives. If you complete all these objectives, it says on the. Oh, I, I passed it. It says you complete these objectives to earn your pick of one of three. So it'll give you a fancy pack of three eighty nines, and you can pick one of the three, and then you can use that card, and you can sell it. You can put it into set, whatever you want. I'm probably gonna grab that and buy the other two, and then build Reggie Bush and have Reggie Bush on the squad, or sell him and keep the three nat that you get with it. So we'll see what we decide to do, but that's my plan work through the rest of these solos and the objectives here and then I'll be able to I'll be able to get a free one and I can start building a free Reggie Bush all right anyways that is gonna be it for that part and then another way that you can build a campus hero is if you want you can do the get a player packs every time you get like a gold all right you can do some exchanges and things like that you can buy some high golds if you want and then you just go buy or you're gonna go build these campus heroes. You're gonna go in, build these underclassmen. They take, they take two 75 golds, or 75 plus, and uh, five 70 to 74. So you put those in, and you'll be able to build a few of these uh, underclassmen, which are 80s, and you can put them into the set, right? And then you need 30 of them. So you're better off, you're better off selling. Depending on the price of the 80, like the 80s, you might as well sell them off and then go buy these cards individually. But 
is up to you if you'd rather not spend all that time completely up to you but yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be grinding that out the rest of the evening in order to pick some up some more additions to the squad but i just wanted to give you a quick update on the team and how we finished in weekend league slash solo battles this week i will have the the um the rewards and stuff like that probably when they come out on monday and tuesday but my rewards last week were terrible so i didn't even bother showing it because we got like i don't even think we got any elite i think we got maybe one so this wasn't worth it Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the update. I really do appreciate you watching the series and showing it so, so much love. Anyways, I'll catch you with another video very soon.